Hey, <laughs> my Facebook family got me crying with laughter, right? It's your butt. Change is good. Yeah. My, my Facebook family, right? <laughs> we were talking about the situation. First, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Reggie. I want to thank Troy. I want to thank Rosalyn. I want to thank Debbie. I want to thank everybody who uh, who support me. I want to thank Susan. Very kind, Susan. Thank you. And much success to all the great things you're doing and that y'all are doing over in the Thomas household. <laughs> so I'm going to say, I'm going to say thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. And thank you, Troy, again. You know, the letter was really great. And, 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 and we understand, like, you no, know, you have these students or these people who are, um, you know, they're so intimidated about putting a dime's worth of elbow grease <laughs> into something. You know, especially when you're young. When you're a young student, that's the time to do that stuff. You had that you had that old cranky attitude when you get old and you can't walk around and do all that hustling and bustling. But when you young you know nowadays as Troy said, nowadays you have you have, you know, these iron chair professionals, right? Uh, it's like an iron chair quarterback, right? And they sit and all the video information is given to you. Okay? that still don't replace his years of experience doing that and figuring that out and creating your own, you know? You know, some of you guys just know what Frazetta is. And you know what? I hate to go there. I don't really criticize people work. I don't. You know, because some people don't, you know, there's a lot. Any teacher knows is is. It's always subjective, you know. You know, um, it's always su su subjective, you know. So, so uh, anyhow, but if I did, y'all would be hurt. Well, I see you talk. You know, if you click in, <laughs> you click on the people who started that garbage, and you look at their work, you're like, oh, okay, I understand now. <laughs> you know. You know, but I figure, you know what? I did something so stupid yesterday. I, and it really made me feel better. And I'm scared because it made me feel better. But I said, okay, y'all kicked me out of the CG talk. But I still got my iPad. <laughs> I still got an iPad, though. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo. I still got an iPad though. <laughs> yeah. Y'all <You, coughs> might have kicked me out of CG Talk after seven years, but I got an iPad. <laughs> so I don't care. <laughs> you got an iPad? Nah, I'm joking. Nah, I said, I can understand why, you know, people. <laughs> no, I happen. I do this thing. I get in a tub. And, and I sit a nice beautiful tub I got a tub it's not beautiful but it really works I put on my classical solo music and it just oh man it just all melts away you know it's just wonderful you know anybody I think there should be a whole day of everybody in the world listen to classical solo piano. That's the most beautiful music. It reminds you of what is good and peaceful and stuff. And the Lord says, you know, focus on that which is lovely. So the way to not focus on, you know, it's difficult. You know, but yeah, after seven years of giving my time, love, and affection to uh, CG Talk, you know, a moderator comes around and just, you know, totally dogs me. <laughs> Fingers me. I want somebody else who's being an irate. You know. So, but my my Facebook family had me had me cracking up and and 
BMW, you know, and rise. Because it says that, you know, when the Lord sends you a, a, a blessing, lots of people don't understand. God puts people in certain places to be a blessing to you. To be a blessing, they're there to bless you. And if you reject them, you know, that person has the right <laughs> to decide. The Lord says, if they, I send them to you and they reject you, when you leave the city, shake the dust off of your feet on that on that city. That's my iPad. That's my Facebook fam. I'm getting pushes, you know. So, uh, he said, uh, <laughs> that's Debbie. <laughs> It's Debbie, you know. Uh, so, uh, uh, so this is that they said uh, she's probably. I gotta see it though. She said, um, he's, the Lord says, shake the dust off your feet. And I've come to know certain things about the Lord, right? Certain things, right? And, and I don't shake my feet off uh, on everybody because it's highly effective. <laughs> you know? It's like I said, if y'all said, <laughs> if I said, I said, I think because Ryan suggested I do that. And, I, and I'm like, you know, I know she didn't. I know what she was saying. She was saying, uh, theoretically, you know, uh, Hypothetically, you know, or metaphorically, she meant it. Matter of fact, and so <laughs> I said, I said to her, I don't shake my the dust off of my feet on everybody, you know. Uh, I give them a break, you know, because I know the Lord. <laughs> I forgot what the scripture said, but he said, he says, uh, he just told you to shake your your dust off your feet. <laughs> he didn't tell you what did he do to them. <laughs> He didn't say that. Uh, anyone. Because I told him, I said, I don't want to bring the whole place down. I'm not going to shake my feet off of him. I'm going to give him a break. Because I don't want to bring the whole place down. You know? I'll give him a break. <laughs> so I'm going to let that lay. You know, y'all be cool. Let the young young students or, or, or the, um, I'm going to call them amateurs. Yeah, that I'll go there. I don't like to criticize no word. I'll call them amateur. They don't know nothing about the business. 